Hello, celebrity megastar and viral sensation. Celebrity Christopher and Angelic. Celebrity Penelope Fountain. Going around the globe and every nation. I'm already famous. You can't touch me. You cannot breach my security because you don't know where I'm going to be at. I know a lot of people are going through a state of shock. Believe me, I know. I know the feeling that you're going through to watch a kingpin like myself get more famous, get more wealthy, and travel throughout America like it's a stroll in the park. I understand your jealousy. I understand why you hate me. But you cannot touch me. You cannot breach my security on me. You never will ever again. Because I got a very, very incredible, monumental story. But I'll leave that to the right time. That right time will be this week. It is a day on the calendar that needs to be marked as a ceremonial day more religious than any holiday in history or in the future. This one needs to be marked on the calendar for a star like myself being as famous as I am to reach another goal in my lifetime. I'm famous. I know you're going through shock, especially you, Polak. I know you are, Polak. You don't understand that you have been harassing me. I don't give a fuck what you have to say. You don't know who I am. You think you know me because my stories are plastered all over the internet and other places. Don't worry about it. I'm publishing a book next. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Now, you may be able to show me to a, a bunch of pictures. Okay, you showed me a bunch of pictures, Polak, of how you have $750,000 in cash. Well, Polak, do you think I'm stupid as prop money? You are no different than a rapper showing prop money that does not phase me. It's worthless paper. Okay? You might be able to burn it and put it in a fire and keep it lit for another couple extra hours. Nothing else, Polak. I wasn't born yesterday. It's people like you that I'm watching every day. You're failing. You don't know what to do about your career that you don't have. And then you being from Poland, Polak, being classified as a Pole, okay, I understand that you're here in my country. You don't know what to do. You're vulnerable, Polak. So, I know. I know, Paul. I already know. You're vulnerable. You're trying to run a dram shop of an operation. Okay. You corrected me on my Ponzi scheme statement. No problem. Not a big deal. But when you overstep a boundary by putting my phone number on the internet with stupid and psychotic ads that I do not authorize you to, not only are you committing a crime based on the state that you're in, but you are subjected to being sued for that fake money that you have, which you don't have anything. 
So I won't spend the money on the lawsuit, okay? Pollock. But do me a favor. Understand that I'm not going anywhere, Pollock. And you being a guest here in America, I think, I have never known Pollocks to be invaders of another nation. I know that Adolf Hitler raided Poland, okay? I understand where it comes from, okay? I understand your concept, but you're making me not only uncomfortable with what you're doing, but I really don't think you know what you're doing and the extent of the impact of what it really actually has. Now, I can definitely retaliate, Pollock. But if I do, you're not going to like it, okay? You're not going to like it, Pollock. So do yourself a favor. Get the ads removed of what you have illegally put on the Internet. And, Pollock, go on about your crazy, psychotic life, okay? As a peasant. Thank you.